My name is Seth Warner. I'm from Southbury, Connecticut, and I live in Poughkeepsie, New York, where I'm studying at Vassar College. My major is political science, and I'm also doing studies in religion and French. In the short term, I would say that the biggest challenge to American democracy is the influx of money into the political system. Um, with Citizens United, which you know is easily on you know the top ten list of worst Supreme Court decisions uh, in uh, the last fifty or hundred years, um, you're going to see a lot of primarily progressive Democrats, you know, biting you know the political dust um, with this influx of money from super PACs. You know, uh, financial conservatives, you know, who have you know uh, the monetary wherewithal to fund candidates to beat them. Assuming that Citizens United isn't overturned for the next 20, 25 years, which there's a solid chance it won't be, unfortunately, um, progressive Democrats are going to have to find another way with their candidates. And looking at those Democrats that have survived, you know, onslaughts of super PAC funding toward their opponents, um, I think you'll see that necessity is the mother of invention. And that hopefully uh, it will breed a new generation, a generation among folks my age, of candidates who are very invested, committed uh, to their constituencies, who understand uh, the value of grassroots mobilization. That's something that you saw in the March survey, that you know this is the kind of stuff that really mobilizes and attracts uh, younger voters. Things that build roots in communities, and maybe even build communities themselves. Because if you help out you know, someone who you've knocked someone whose, doors, whose door you've knocked on, or if you've helped out a business, or if you've made a personal connection with someone, you know, by standing in front of them and talking to them, just as we're talking right now, it doesn't matter how many super PAC dollars are out there saying that you're a bad person, that vote's going to be yours, because you trust them and they trust you. And so I think in the next 20, 25 years, uh, if Citizens United is not overturned, and you know, maybe that's a good reason why Citizens United shouldn't be overturned, I would prefer it be overturned, but you know, there might be a silver lining that trust will be the number one motivator toward votes and trust um, may have a resurrection, may have a renaissance uh, in our political environment.